Hello, this is Peter Stetchik with Northeast Power. Um, today I'm going to explain how to install an under voltage release coil into a VD4 breaker. The reason for doing that is uh, sometimes uh, if there's like a loss of DC supply or AC supply to the breaker, we want the breaker to trip and uh, this will provide a tripping means to the breaker without having an energy supply to the breaker. Uh, as you can see, the, the coil itself is spring is uh, spring loaded. So when there is voltage applied to the coil, it holds it in the closed in the closed position like this. And when voltage is lost, say DC power or AC power to the breaker, it will release it and it will trip the breaker. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, First thing I do is remove four screws out of the breaker. cover off and so now behind here um, you can see uh, the, the guts of the breaker here there's uh, the closing coil here there's a shunt release coil here and in this location where this breaker was supplied without a under voltage release coil uh, that's where we're going to install it um, if you look a little closer here that plunger pushes against the breaker at this location right here. So to install this, uh, you gotta remove one screw here. And ABB makes this kind of nice, this is all modular. You can uh, then pull this out and you hold the whole assembly in your hand. And so now we come on over to the table here. It'll be a little easier to install this on the table. Uh, there'll be two screws that should be supplied with the release coil. You then are going to, um, for this one here, the coil, there's two little divots right here. Those divots will go into this, these two locations right here, like that. And then gotta flip it over and put your two screws in. These have Loctite on them to. Um, to make sure they don't come out. And then once installed, there's a connector. There's two connectors. This is a two prong connector right here. You can see two prongs. You just install that onto the breaker, onto these two terminals here. Yeah. And then reinstall this. There's two guides here. You can see there's a guide here and a guide here that uh, makes it so that the connections that are here line up properly when you slide it into the breaker. And 
And then put your screw back in. And that was installed. Now, if you look at the breaker controls, we just installed, this is the control diagram. We just installed the MBU coil. We put the connector XB13 on to these, this location here and here. And the terminals that you need to wire to would be terminal nine and terminal 10 on the breaker. And those terminals are located right here terminals 9 and 10. So again, when this is energized, it will push down on this coil and it will allow you to close the breaker. Without without this down, the breaker will not be able to close. And when the breaker is closed and you lose power, you then would release it. That's 